I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. Over the years, it really has come in handy. When you come out there and you're looking and say, maybe there's an addition that's put on so the tie's not good anymore, and you look and you're like, all right, there's that shed, and there's that tree, and, you know. And then you can also figure out, you know, who's doing it, and then, you know, yeah, it's a lot picture and a thousand words deal, mm -hmm. you know. Absolutely. So anytime, if we're looking for any information on any of mine, there'll be photos in and a lot of guys don't know to ask for that. They just say, give me the answer. Mm -hmm. You know? You've been doing this for a while, you said? Yes, he <laughs> has. And um, you're, you wanted um, Walsh? Yes, just a copy. PDF? Yeah. PDF is perfect. Okay. Thank you. Do I have your email? Um, no. Okay, I'll take awesome. care of it. Thank you very much. All right, no Finishing. problem. Thank okay. you, guys. Take care. Sure. Have a good night. And then we have just a few minutes. Can yeah. I just... Well, he's out there if you want to. He is. Can I just um, take a water break for a minute? Can we shut that off for a second? Well, I get some water. You want a water bottle out of here? No. I just want to. That's a good word. I used to say that. You're taking a texting break? Okay. Yeah. All right. What about this guy? Um. Well, nobody else is coming. Why don't get him out of the way? Then yeah. We... Let's figure out what this is all about. Is yeah, we're back. And we're back. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Not too bad. How are you? Good. We're actually being recorded. If you wouldn't mind introducing yourself. Sure. I'm Mike Fallon with Weston and Sampson Engineers. Thank you, Mike. Hi. Right, what do you got for us? So. Obviously here for 53 Phillips Road, which is the Great Sandy Bottom Pond water treatment plant. Mm -hmm. So they have a failed septic system. Okay. And so basically what we think happened was this tree got so big that it was roots in these pipes of the field. So they're going to keep all of their collection system in place. All they're doing is replacing the leach field, basically. Do what? Just replacing the leach field portion. So it's an upgrade. It's a system upgrade slash repair. So I talked to Lisa during the soil testing. She said if they don't want to put in a whole new, full system, they can just replace from the pump station out. So we're basically just replacing the leach field with a new D box and trench system. So it's just conventional trenches, stone, uh, stone trenches. And okay. No good. <laughs> um, these these trees are coming down. Correct, because I don't want the same thing to happen again. Okay. The question is, this is a 36-foot tree? 36-inch in, diameter. In the, diameter? Yep, okay, yep. the roots we have grown into here? Yep. Do we know if these roots 
extend into here into this area where you want to put that piece? so we don't i mean i don't know that for sure so i mean 36 inch is the trunk diameter usually mm -hmm. the roof structure is similar to the overhead canopy i guess without physically being out there and seeing it i don't know so mm -hmm. if we get out there and they get into the excavation here and they're starting to, to hit the roots we can certainly add a condition that says you know remove or trim back that tree as well i i don't i know for a fact that these two 10 years down the road will become the same problem as the current system so mm -hmm. i definitely want those two removed mm -hmm. i assumed that this one was further out than the five foot mm -hmm. over dig but i I don't. I can't say that for sure without knowing where the canopy of the overhang of the tree is. Has the steep box been exposed? So this is an actual pump chamber. So the sewers, the septic comes out of the building through these sewers and manholes to a tank here. Mm -hmm. This is a pump chamber. Okay. Is this pump chamber? Has this been opened and looked at? Yep. Because so, I'm seeing these trees here, which I'm very concerned about. Yep. Can you just identify where the water is? Yep, so this is the actual, and if you need, I could probably have some more zoomed out figures, but this is the actual great sandy bottom pond. So that's the water supply. And then on the other side of the street, I don't know if you guys are familiar with mm -hmm. there, there's a, a tributary. This is the property yeah. line, so it's probably right about here mm -hmm. that flows into that. Mm -hmm. So this is, we actually took, so we surveyed the area for the septic system design, and we took some shots on the edge of the water to make sure we had an exact distance and also an elevation. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so this is the actual water's edge. Mm -hmm. And this is complete, the field is a complete failure? The, correct. They even TV the lines. They can only get the camera a third of the way down these first couple lines, something mm -hmm. like that. So, Existing decant tank. What is a decant tank? I can't speak too far of that either, but that's okay. all to do with the process of the water the treatment the water the treatment system. Correct. Okay. So as I just wanted to stay out of, this is chain link fenced in, so we just wanted to stay out of that area. Mm -hmm. So what was the field failure? When I started, when we got the job, was probably two months ago. I think we did the soil testing. May, so May 9th, we did the soil testing. That was probably right after we got the, we got contacted by them. We do a lot of work with them on the water side. So I think they notified us that the treatment system was a failure probably the end of April, the beginning of May. So they've been pumping out this tank uh, weekly or however they've been doing it. You know. Do we have records on that show? What's up? Do we have the records of the pumping? Pumping records of their pumping existing Pumping records tank. of their existing tank. I'm just curious how often this gets has to get pumped. Yeah, I don't know that, but I don't know that either. I would have to ask the client. Mm, that's important. So on the current on the 1986 septic system design for this system, this is where the reserve area was. So I, there's not a whole lot of room anywhere else mm -hmm. to put it. So obviously the variance is to the water supply. And how close do you can be? Uh, so it goes around, so the 400 is the actual setback, but it's, so this is, I don't do anything fancy, but this is just a quick sketch, you guys can hang out to it if you need to. Uh, so it's 225 feet from the water's edge to that closest corner. And it's, it's supposed to be 400 feet? Correct. But again, we're, obviously it's a failed system in place, and it's not anywhere else. So if you looked at, let me do a better overview of where the pond is, mm -hmm. uh, it's really nowhere else on the property that would be any further away than that. And basically, if I'm looking at this, this if this line was to be moved, it hasn't been, this actually, to me, is more of a setback, looking at your design here, more of a setback from the water. It it's right, it's further, the same. right, it's further away than it was before. The original. Before we were way back here, so if I did a distance from, I could scale a lot that would scale in the mm -hmm. bag, actually, but from here to there is probably less than 200, so we're gaining another 25 feet further away. Further away. And again, this is, so this is the property, if you're looking at this building, that's the treatment building. Mm -hmm. So we're putting the new system right here, which is basically 200 feet from the tributary and 225 from the water supply, and there's nowhere else on the entire property that would be, if anything, it would be worse anywhere else than we try to put the system. So, so you're slightly closer to the tributary. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the tributary. yeah, but we're still, but the setback to a tributary is 200 feet and we're still greater than 200, so we're not within the variance request for the tributary to adjust the water supply and we're further away from that. Mm -hmm. So, I, so where, we're, where we're in the reserve area from the original plan and we're further from the actual water supply, I figured that's the best thing we can really right. try so, to do. So, in so. essence, if the, the, the variance really should be rewritten and it's a variance for the setback from the proposed leaching facility yeah. from 400 
feet to 225. Where's so, that located? So note number you nine. that out? So note number nine on the plan says the location of the soil absorption system is less than 400 feet from the closest public drinking water supply. So that's where it calls out the 400. I, I just don't list the, the 225. Okay. Just, yep. But that kind of calls out that we're within it. And then the last note says that we're requesting a variance. But yeah, the 225 isn't noted. Right, the 225 is, is, is extremely important okay. to know on any type of a variance on, on a... Um, what specific distance we specific, are. Okay. No, specific. Specific. Um, and I, I wrote that on mine here. Okay. So if anything, we have to change the way that the... The um, note reads. Yep, and, and so, I'm being recorded anyway. So. Sure. No, that's fine. If, that's, if um, that can just be a condition, I that will take two minutes to change on the plans. So mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not worried about that. Hey, who is your... Who's the client? So the Abington Rockland Joint Waterworks is the owner of the parcel. So they're my client. So the water waterworks, the head of the waterworks, basically. Mm -hmm. Looks have like they've been pumping any, it monthly. Has Weston and Samson done any work out there before? So we do. A, we work with them on their water side. So I, our, my Weston and Samson is divided into many disciplines: wastewater, water, landfills, everything. So our water group works with them as far as improvements to the water treatment plant and they're the ones that notified me in the wastewater side saying oh our water client has a need they have a failed septic system so that's where i stepped in so i'm not familiar with the client really other than stepping in in may to help them with this smaller piece of their big plant so just need to do that now no, that, that was... so we do work with them they didn't just call us out of the blue but i personally don't work with them what do you do now uh, so I, don't, I think it just says that we're outside of any setbacks. I don't think it calls anything out. You think your plan doesn't show no. where a well? So the nearest properties are across right, the street. There's, yeah, there's so a lot I, of the, everything was outside. There. Yeah, so everything was outside the, the required mm -hmm. setbacks. And even this well, and we took a couple survey shots on it. It was graded 100 feet, so I didn't put it on the plan. Oh my. Let's see if I can actually get a copy of that too. That would probably be good. <laughs> so. So, uh, March to May, in June, in 2011, they were all That's all I have. January, February, but, um, so, February 15th. So, we, so, we, so, so they may have been TVing the lines to see what was going on during the March. I have no idea. I didn't get contacted until April, I think. Yeah, because it's showing, it's showing here the, the gallons. So everything was okay. Yeah, so our contract is this, what, um, April. is this how much it pumped? Yeah, that's the pumping records. This would be, well, Volume. there's a 6,500 gallon tank, 4,800 gallon tank, and a 1,500 gallon tank. I don't so, want to say anything. So these anymore. are 2010, 11, and 15. All these ones up here are yep. just annual or Correct. semi Correct, and then whatever. we went and into failure. The problems were this calendar year, right? Wood rivers between so that would make sense if they're only pumping it monthly, you know, 1,500 gallons isn't that, if it's 200 gallons per day that they're using, you know, again, it's a five number, so 100 gallons per day mm -hmm. is 3,000 gallons a month, average daily flow. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that they're pumping fairly often, obviously, for a failed system. How big is this, this septic? I mean, it's tank. Uh, I would, it was already filled up when we did our survey, it was already, uh, backing up, you know, so they, they were probably getting ready to pump it when I was out there. So okay, I, we, we weren't checking the components upstream because they were leaving those in place. So, right, but you know, only we, the leaching field was in failure. So I don't know exactly what size. Cause just by looking at this, so they're getting, it almost appears here in March. We have no April. idea how old that system is, right? It's My, the plans that I have are 86. They're getting a backflow from the failed field. Wind River was pumping out 2,500 gallons. We did that twice in April. Then they only were pumping out 1,500. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a, a three month gap here. Mm -hmm. Well, two and a half months. Mm -hmm. With and a lower amount of liquid. And again, it's a water treatment plan, so the usage is probably all over the place, too. It's random staff in the office portion. There's probably one or two operators on a daily basis, and then mm -hmm. maybe an admin person. It's not a big usage building. Our design flow is too, it's less than a three three bedroom home. You know, mm -hmm. it's 235 gallons per day. Mm -hmm. So I can certainly look at those numbers and make sure it still jives with our design flow, but I I think it still will be. Again, if I, I usually assume Title V's number is double average daily flow. So if I assume 100 gallons per day times 30 days, mm -hmm. that's 3,000 gallons per month. 
Mm -hmm. If we average all that out, that it looks like it's probably in the ballpark or less. Mm -hmm. So, so I think we're probably, this is the only plan that I have from 1986, so I can't tell what size tank that is. I couldn't find design flows or any like how they calc anything, so I just started from scratch and calculated the, the square footage of their office admin wing and mm -hmm. used the office category from Title V. Mm -hmm. Right. So basically, I think that your variance, as noted on this plan, needs to be changed to be more specific, which should read a variance from the setback from the proposed leaching facility to the Great Pond drinking water supply. Um, a reduction from 400 feet to 225. That's how the should be. Okay. And I told our client that obviously that it's their choice if they just want to replace the leaching field right now to resolve the problem, but keep in mind that the rest of their system is still well, that's 20 that's, plus years old as well, so keep an eye on those components once things start working again properly. But Right, but have I been on those components? That's my problem. As far as, I, yes, I, as, far, as far as I know, they haven't had any problems. They may have even done pump replacements or maintenance in the past. I don't know. I, they've had no problems with any of that stuff. It was just the leaching field, is my understanding, that failed, which is mm -hmm. why Lisa had said we can just replace the component that's in failure. So. Okay. And, it, and again, they, they even tried TVing it to see if it was just one or two of the lines, and I think they had problems getting the TV down any of the lines. Because mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. yeah, instead of doing a full blown septic system, you're just replacing the field, but the components. You know, they may be replacing that. We've got, I might be back in no, front of you next year replacing the pump chamber. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean. But, mm. but again, just from a cost perspective, they're just trying to do as little as they have to now, so replacing the failed component I think is all they're required to do, so it's always a problem with any of the components. Right, and I guess, I guess my feeling is that we have a tributary here that's feeding into here, which is Abington and Rockland's drinking water. Correct. And that concerns me. Um, with these components still staying in place. Um, as far as I know, everything is said that they're in good structural, that there's no issues with any of those components. Okay. Do we do we know if Lisa had eyes, no, eyes no, I don't, on, no, I don't think this has it been uncovered? Yeah. I mean, we have no record of a Title V or anything, so I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, did you do a Title V? No, so we got involved after it was already, they already determined it was failed, or if it was back, I have no idea if it was backing up into the building or how they determined it. But they, they had already done the TV inspection of these lines before they called us to design the replacement system. So, mm -hmm. so as part of when I went out there and did my soil testing and survey, I did look inside the pump chamber and mm -hmm. everything looks fine. I looked inside the septic tank, but it was probably six inches from there. They were probably getting ready to pump it the next day. So when I was out there, it was filled, so I couldn't inspect the tank itself. But assuming that it was in the same condition as the pump chamber, I didn't have any concerns about it. Mm -hmm. And I looked inside these mammals, and again, from what I could see, they looked fine, but they were definitely surcharged by a mm -hmm. foot or so as well, but they both structurally sound to me. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have any concerns with them okay. at this time. Right. Tomorrow, at this time, <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow is a new day. I just have a question for them because I don't know anything about these. Out of that whole system, the Legion feels the most expensive part, correct? Yes, because this is probably a pretty standard septic tank. I assume it's, uh, well, actually 6,500 gallons of decent sized tank, so that could get expensive too. Probably like a 1500 gallon is about 200, two grand, right? If it, yeah, if it was a residential system, I would say definitely yes, but in this case, it looks like they have a 60. Like they have, I, don't, like I, don't they have what, a couple of tanks. I don't know what these tanks are. Yeah, so. Right. so there's a, the, the, it appears, and maybe the, it appears to be three tanks. Which doesn't make sense. So I it doesn't make sense. Maybe they're just saying a but, Maybe it's a big one big tank and they're noting different volumes. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, yeah. 
No, no comments. Okay, neither, nor I, but I just needed to. So it could be, it could be that they have one big, they could have a 6,500 gallon tank and the first time they pumped 6,500 gallons, the next mm -hmm. time they pumped 4,800 gallons and they just called it tank pumping and I don't know what their well, notes <laughs> refer to. Only pumping 1,500. Exactly. Like, that's why I would guess it's a 1,500 or 2,500 gallon tank, but I don't know two what, weeks. Yeah. I don't know what those first two were. Well, they are in, they are in failure. Um, my professional opinion is you will be back in front of this board replacing or repairing because I can't imagine that those can go much longer especially where I'm seeing this tree here these trees um, even though this is an overhang I would have to say it's getting close there um, yeah, I guess the one, I mean, obviously the leaching field would be a lot easier impacted because that's just PVC pipe, whereas mm -hmm. these are concrete structures. Mm -hmm. That's where I wouldn't worry as much, but again, kind of, mm -hmm. at some point in the next 10 years or so, they're probably going to have some issues and concerns with those as well. Mm -hmm. All right, any um, further discussion, questions, comments, concerns? Thank you, you were able to explain this because I have to say, you know, this variance, the way it was written. I'll clarify that. Please. Um, okay. Um, so, are we looking to? This to is the uh, Yes, I, this has to be revised. It has to specifically state 400 feet from Great Sandy Bottom, which is the public drinking water supply. So is this a bigger region you know, because the tank is presumably so large? Is, is this a larger region field than a so I, three bedroom home? So I don't believe so, but I, again, all I have for records on their existing system is this set of 1986 plans, and it didn't have anything more than schematically showing the septic system, so I couldn't figure out how they sized the design flow. So what we basically did was take the floor plan of the building and calculate the area. So basically we have plans from that 1986 set and we took out all the process. So a lot of this stuff is just valves and decanters and storage, it's all water treatment process mm -hmm. equipment. So this is where their office, uh, control rooms, meeting room, lunch room, bathrooms, so we basically took that square footage and then I used the office calculation of 75 gallons per day per thousand square feet for that square footage because I don't know how else to calculate it either. Mm -hmm. So I, again, I'll try and look at this more mm -hmm. closely and make sure that I'm still comfortable with it, but still based on these numbers, I, I don't think, again, if I take everything during the, the 2017 right. calendar year and average it out gallons per day, mm -hmm. I think it'll still be in this ballpark, but if it's higher, I'll certainly, you know, if you guys want to put that into the condition as well, that's fine. I think we can calculate right now if you want. I assume they fill it when it gets to an overflow point and they pump it down to next to nothing. Mm -hmm. And then, so we should be able to take this whole pumpage flow divided by how many days it's been. <coughs> and I can't imagine it's higher than the 235 gallons per day that we designed. Has, has it been pumped since the 25th? I believe it has. I'm a little behind on that thing. I, that there, I do have some stuff to put oh, in. I have to guess. So. Yeah, I, one river usually sets me up. So, Who's pumping it now, or is it still? Is it I, still I I showed it being wind, ri wind river, but so basically. But they keep saying everything's it's, it's a routine field, and the system's okay. So. This field into the chamber. So currently, right now, Correct. it's falling backwards and it's acting like a tight. Correct. That's Correct. What it's doing. Exactly. So right. It's so the so same as um, the uh, end. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So until this gets approved and replaced, they're just paying to pump it. Mm -hmm. When it gets to the high level, I assume they have somebody checking it on a daily, weekly basis, and it gets within X inches of the out outlet, they mm -hmm. pump it. So it was in failure before you came? Correct. So I got the call that they had a failed system. They had already TV'd the lines and couldn't just fix one line, so it had to be a full new system, and that's when I scheduled the soil testing with Lisa. Who's so, that? Who, who's that? Uh, the Abington Rockland Joint Waterworks. Again, my they went in and they sent somebody in with a camera? They must have. Because that's, like I said, my client is the Joint Waterworks. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so when I went up there and did the soil testing, I think it was somebody at the plant that was telling me that they had TV the lines. And I wasn't involved in that. It was before I was involved. So what's a ballpark figure for the new field? Size-wise? Dollar-wise. 
it's smaller than a single family home. I, I would have to guess ten or fifteen thousand. I mean, ten or fifteen thousand is usually a complete system with a septic tank and everything. So maybe ten thousand. Okay, so, so let's just use your ten thousand. Yeah. Just using your professional uh, intellectual capital. If they were to go in and replace this now, what are you talking about? If it was just a septic tank, I wouldn't be as concerned about it. But the pumps and the pump chamber and everything <coughs> could be. I mean. Oh, not crazy dollars, but it could be another ten or fifteen itself. So, okay. you know, enough to deter them from wanting to do it right now. Clearly, you know. So, and there's a little bit of extra buffer. The one when I was looking at this the other day, we did build in a little bit of extra, just based on how these trenches sized out. The required square footage was three, sized it up to three sixty, so there's an extra thirty or thirty-five gallons per day that I built in to the square footage that we're providing. Mm -hmm. So I, again, I, I had the same concerns as you guys with how this previous system was sized, but I felt comfortable with how we initially sized it and then we upsized it a little bit further. So it's probably designed for more like 260 gallons per day, and it's very little usage. Again, there's not many people in that building, but I, I will try and either take a photocopy or have Sheila print out a copy of that. Okay, you can take okay. this. Okay. Just so I want to make sure I'm comfortable with it too, obviously. I guess I'm just perplexed. I'm sorry. Um, nope. It's okay. That, you know, with the septic system, while these people, the Abington, Rockland, drinking water, that they would not have hired when they realized that they were in failure an official Title V inspection. So what I'm guessing happened is it backed up into either the tanks, the mm -hmm. animals, and or the building. Right. And they already assumed that it was failed. And they either had their own push camera from all the stuff that they do out here already, or mm -hmm. they hired somebody on their own to do that. Mm -hmm. They didn't need to. They, they basically put their money into TVing it to see if they could make a quick repair, probably, instead of bothering to do a Title V, because it was failed. You know? Now, Michelle, do you think it would be in their best interest to have a Title V done now, and they're in failure. There's no requirement that a Title V has to be done. Is that okay. If it's failed, well, it's failed. Yeah, it's a, yeah. So it, it's yeah, bad to go. It's not. So, it's not. Again, I think it was more a matter of not mm -hmm. spending the money that they didn't have to spend. So mm -hmm. they may have had their own camera. They may have had their own guys that already, again, they have plenty of pipe work going on on their property to the water plant. They mm -hmm. might have all of this equipment themselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm not being a wise guy when I say that's conjecture on your part. It is. I mean, it's logically, it, it, I can see. It right? absolutely is. Yes. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Before I was involved. So. Okay. Any further questions, concerns? No. No, I do not. So, will, uh, by having to revise that note, do you guys do like an approval conditionally based on a revised plan coming in, or will that come back to another meeting with the revised plan? Um, no, I think the revised plan can be submitted. Okay. Um, we do have to take a vote. Sure. Um, I have reworded that. It is, I think you've taken notes. There were August 21st and 29th, there were 550 dollars taken. I don't know if it's so September. Even, so even less than before. August 21. And then, and then what was the next day? 29th. Is it on there? Oh. No, we stopped uh, July 25th. So that's a day, an eight day period. So but it's two different things. Well, two different signs. Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, know. August, what August 21st was almost a month, and it was only 500 gallons. But is, is that the patent that they do 1,500 and 5, 1,500, 5? It could be the size of the truck that Wind River sends out there. Yeah, I don't think they, they might not be pumping. In January, we had 15. In January, we had 1,500. And then in February, there was 500. It could be based on so, the size of right. that Wind well, River or whoever, mm -hmm. whoever's pumping it out comes out here with, too. It's probably just enough to get them to the next. They might have a reminder that says, call oh, whoever their pumper is every two weeks. And it's pumping. Well, now it's been a, it's an eight days spread. I know it's two different tanks. They haven't been out at all in September. I don't know if it's two different tanks. Yeah, we don't know if it's two different tanks. It could be the same tank. It could okay. be just this tank. Okay. Or it, could be, it could be the tank in the pump chamber. I don't, you know. Okay, so if it is one tank, there's a, and I don't, I'm not making that assumption, but if it is, there's an, there's an eight-day 
prepared and now we're in the 25th of September. Mm -hmm. Now I think vacation is falling in here. What was that? Vacation time could have fallen in here where it was less because they see how the numbers ran. Okay. Oh, let me have a field that is in failure. Um, Motion to accept the variance on 53 Phillips Road. Assuming the motion is amended to accept the setback from 400 feet to 225 feet. I will second. Um, I'd like to add to that that um, before this plan is approved, that this um, variance is stated before they go further. On the plan so I, I we need a new plan. plan. Yeah. Yep, we need a new plan specifically stating the footage from Great Sandy Bottom so that we have better accurate records in the office. So we'll need three copies? It's not going to go out to engineering again. That's the only thing you're changing, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. And so three copies and then one copy second. Yeah. And if that comes in that way, then um, we have made a motion to accept it. But I want to put that as a condition that it has to be changed and back here stamped. That way we can add to the file um, for our own information, I think that it would be beneficial, and this is a request. Um, I want to know where these tanks are. Very confusing. Yep. I think it's in your client's best interest to know where these tanks are and what they're pumping and out of where. Okay. Um, Cost-effective wise, I think it's smart for them. Okay. Can I hand these? Because yes. Shelly's got them. Okay, Mike. Um, when you come back with the new the revised, can you let Shelly know how many tanks we have? The breakdown of what's going on. Yeah. Yep. yep. Is he here before the board, or do you just send him the feds there would be a commission in here? I would like him to, at least to communicate to you so we can document mm -hmm. how many and the, the size of each tank. And if they have to send somebody out there to actually go through them and find them, that would be good too. I think moving forward, it's in, in everyone's best interest. Um, but the motion was made, it was seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Because I think you're going to be working. Thank next you for offering some clarity on that. Yeah, Absolutely. thank you for, yeah. We're, we're, we, we just have a routine. And, Absolutely. And when I looked at the variance, we both kind of looked at each other and went, huh? <laughs> so. A little choice on the variance. So exactly. Everything else is confusing as well, but a little choice on where to put it. That's, okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate Mike, thank it. you thank for you coming. We thank appreciate you. it. Uh, you also have, uh, we have like both yeah. a list of licenses for it, when it's approved. I just want to hand that over to the Waterworks, the uh, approved more licensed drain layers. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, hi. Thank you. Hi, good luck. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Mm -hmm. Can we make that a request of engineers? Do you no. do all do most of them do that? But I don't know what they Shane mean. showed us pictures. I think Shane Shane is a great educator. Um, what Gary is asking is Shane actually takes pictures of the components as it's going in. Is that a requirement? Or do most engineers um, do that? Most, I, I believe, Lisa requires pictures, whether, it, it, I'm not sure if she just she looks at it. 
that we were there in title, that when the title five is done, yeah. those pictures have to be attached. But she also tells the astrologers because she doesn't always get them. The problem is, is you, you, know, you dig a hole and you put a tank in it, and a lot of these are in residential areas, mm -hmm. and they don't want to leave that hole open because mm -hmm. kids, are, you know, kids. Mm -hmm. So if she can't get there, and, and again, if she knows the installer, do you know what I mean? Like you know, the pictures you can still be taken. Yes. Doesn't have to be by Lisa. True. But she'll require. She'll just say take tons of pictures. Like I want, like walk around taking pictures. So as if I, I could almost see if, if I, you know what I mean? What I would see when I walk around. Mm -hmm. She doesn't always do that if she doesn't know the install. If it's their first time working in town, so she'll make a point to make sure she actually goes and sees, mm -hmm. you know, boots on the ground or whatever, you know, just to make sure that, right, so she's comfortable with how they work. Okay. But the, there is no such requirement that each engineer takes those pictures at this moment. I don't, I don't think so. I guess you can find the green. Because we can certainly have that. Um, I don't know if it would be good. We can certainly add that to our list of um, fourteen here. Is growing. They actually I wasn't saying we should. I was getting a, a food for thought. Mm -hmm. I, 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 mean, I, yeah. I wasn't yeah. suspicious or found it peculiar, but I'm just commenting that Shane tonight said, oh, by the way, just offered it. And I was just thinking in my mind why he was, you know, ed, you know was he just educating us or I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think he liked you. I think he, uh, he just wanted to show you how he does his. Um, okay. Because I think he, you know, I, don't know. I think it was just really beneficial for all of us to be able to see. Um, but that's certainly something that we can look at. Well, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are: I think that there should be eyes on everything. Um, I know that I've seen Title V reports where they have gone in and they are, have to put a camera in and they have to take pictures. We have to see what they're looking at. Some are better than others. Some are more um, detailed than others. All right, so the next thing up is the health agent. Um, Gary, we're a little late in regards to um, bringing this topic up. This was something that you had requested um, months ago when we first looked at it, that you wanted to kind of look at it and review it on a quarterly basis. Currently, right now, this is the exact same job description. Uh, so there's a little bit of change. She added some stuff that she's been doing. Do you know what she added? Um, Our health agent added? Yes. Uh, is there something there about planning? I just, I just want to check out assisting town planning, assisting the town budget process, assisting in the 40B application evaluation, assisting in the assessment and the development on Washington Street, which is the, um, which is what the town bought, with future site for the fire. Um, she still is, um, this is not strictly necessary functions of our health agent, but they are functions of what she has been involved in, and I believe she continues to be involved in. So is, is this revised? Can I print out the last one? Yes, I'd like to see what has changed. Sorry. While Sheila's doing that, 
um, the plastic bag committee update. Um, I think I'd like to table that. Um, you know, at, at one point I was, I, I'm not going to say gun ho, but at one point I was trying to move forward and, and we got a little sidetracked with our rooster issue. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I probably need to revisit and have a conversation actually. I spoke with Sabrina and she was quite helpful mm -hmm. in terms of um, putting a subcommittee together. So I, I probably should give her a phone call. Okay. See if I can get some time with Ms. Chilcott. All right. So Gary is going to, we're going to table this, but Gary is going to reach out to um, Sabrina Chilcott and kind of see where we're going with this. Um, the livestock piece is the next step. It is your choice and whether you'd like to deal with that now or you would like to put it on the agenda to the next meeting. One of the suggestions in regards to the livestock, I think, was there should be a, no matter how many chickens you have, there's got to be a fee. Of these are just tell you. So that was January. Sorry. January. January. Mm -hmm. And then this one's August. Right. August. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I think it's going to be a little bit more than that. So, I think it's going to be a little bit more than that. So, I think it's going to be a little bit more than that. So, I think it's going to be a little bit more than that. The additions between the revision of February 14, 2000 and the revision of the September 25, 2017 is what has been added here under not strictly necessary functions of a job, a health agent's job, but she has gone from assisting with the 40B application evaluation she has added assisting with town planning and assisting to the town budget process. None of the core responsibilities has changed. It looks like she's taken, it looks like she's removed under, under the not strictly necessary. She's perhaps removed the assist with town recycling. Yeah, she's not doing that anymore. Really. She did, so she she removed that. Now, the job description of the health agent. You know, if 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 the board is, I mean, I'm not sure if it's a, a joint effort. I mean, I. I think that well, she, this, this the, the not strictly necessary are things that she is involved in. I mean, this, the local state advisory committee, she needs to be updated and a part of emergency preparedness, the community preservation. She's a member of the community preservation, um, which also appears to be something. No, nope, she was, she, that hasn't changed. So it looks like under she's added two, yep. and removed one. Mm -hmm. Can you, did you see if she's? Do you think they require the top duties have? No. Are they identical. They are. My eyes show that they're identical. Okay. I'm gonna throw out a question. Mm -hmm. I don't believe, and I'm not sure if it's a town statute. I don't know why. I, I don't. It's a, it, it appears that we cannot require that the health agent be present at our board of health meetings. I'm not sure why we can, but I'd like to put something in here that she, our health agent, should attend our meetings, but should attend the Board of Health meetings whenever possible. Well, you, perhaps in, instead of the, I don't want to tell you about the Board of Health meetings, but perhaps maybe 
uh, you could meet with the health agent sometime Monday to go over stuff on Friday afternoon, Friday afternoon, or something like that for like 20 minutes just to go run through stuff that's coming up. All right. I probably want to have it. I'd, I'd like to have the, the yeah, head of really inspectional open. services address that because, like, I, I have heard, and I'm not speaking to you, I'm just speaking to everyone in the room. I have heard, and I'm using, like, the selectmen, the town administrator is not required, cannot be compelled to attend the selectmen's meeting, yet it's expected that he be there. I don't know if it's state statute that says if the town administrator isn't can't be required to be there. I, I don't know. And I'm saying the same thing. I'm asking the same thing out loud with the health agent at our board of health meetings. What is it that tells us that she doesn't have to be present? And I'm not asking you. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, it's, a, it's a rhetorical that, question. You're not asking me specifically. No. Nor was I asking Madam Chair. If we're revising the job description, all I'm thinking is going forward, would the board want to put, add a bullet item there that the health agent, whenever possible, come to the meeting? I'm, I'm not I'm just throwing it out there. Um, I think at this point, I think that aspect or request should be postponed until our next quarterly review um, because I think that there are extenuating, extenuating circumstances which is causing our health agent not to be present. Um, I think we need to wait um, I think our weekly updates should be added as a as a as a duty um, from the board. Um, I think that she needs to um, give us a daily activity written update report re weekly of what she is doing. I don't see that as any part of her duties. I would like that as a duty to our board. I guess at this point, until um, the extenuating circumstances um, can come to light, I think I would like to at least ask that she exercise the right to phone in. I think it would have been very valuable. Well, her thoughts are here on paper. I think that when she is able to verbalize, I think she's better at verbalizing than she is in written communication. And I think it's important for this board that her voice be here heard. So as a duty, I would like to add a daily activity um, weekly update report, however you want to word that, Lisa. I mean, um, Sheila, like what has been produced, but I think that I have a question, Madam Chair. So it looks like she's in, in her health agent report that she's presented to us. She's given us a little bit of her daily itinerary, or, mm -hmm. uh, her daily activity, but also she's giving giving us commentary on the agenda items that have come before the board. Mm -hmm. In terms of the four uh, variances, we were we were given very little. So, are you saying? Well, we're given the we're giving the variances in our on the um, right here. What Shill is doing for us on our agenda is actually giving us what the variances are. Understood. What I meant was our health agent's editorial comment on her thoughts on the variances were quite minimal. Of the four variances, merely saying they're all routine 
and they achieve maximum feasible compliance. I'm asking you, were you looking for that to be expanded? Were you looking for this component of her schedule to be expanded? I'm looking for this with her voice. This? Yes. And this. You're including this. Hit. It, this is kind of an update of what's going mm -hmm. on, but th these are the variants well, what that she, came before what, the Right, and, and what this is doing is, with the exception of 53 Phillips, which made no sense, I think that this board, on the way that these local variances, these, this is nothing new to us. I think that we as a board, we have her blessing Okay, she's looked at it and doesn't have a problem with it, with the exception of this one. So I think that this was okay, only I wish this would have been stated, this would have been stated to him, but I guess you all, all beginners have to um, learn the hard way by coming in front of the board in regards to not being specific with the variance. Well, okay. Well, go ahead. Make a motion. I, I have no motion to make. Um, I have no motion to make. I, I, Would you uh, like to table this? In terms of the job description? Mm -hmm. Well, were you, were you looking to if we're looking at this every quarterly, was this our evening to look at it and we was Correct. to quote unquote finalize it until the next quarter? Correct. Okay. And we have additions to it under not necessarily, but one of the things I think that was missing that has that is part of her duty now is we are we have our requesting as a board, we want a daily activity weekly update report which is the first section, correct? Which is where, 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 what is our health agent, where is she, and what is she out doing? You know, I'd be capitalizing and putting actual street addresses, and, you know, right? Mm -hmm. um, but this is the part where I would like to hear her voice. So if she is not sick, we're not able or um, to attend the meeting if she is about and can use the town bylaw privilege of phoning in even if she sits and listens muted wise and I would refer to her you know I do this on another committee that we sit on um, to make a quorum, a lot of people will phone in, and, and then when they're asked a direct question, they answer. So I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Are you asking that in our future Board of Health meetings, if our health agent is not present, that she be on the phone uh, f for the whole meeting, or she would be available to take a phone call mm -hmm. should we have a question, which are two different things? Correct. I think that Which? I think until we have clarification in regards to extenuating circumstances that we cannot move on that at this point. I think that the only thing was we we said as a board um, the request was made to look at this every three months. Right now we are adding to this activity, and she has added a couple more things um, under there. Okay. And then we'll take it up at another three three month point. Okay. So that being said, I will make a motion to accept the job description as written to accept it for this for our third quarter review for two thousand and seventeen. Can I amend that motion that we okay. add under the duties? Um, third quarter? In three months, we're, we're, we're behind. We're fiscal 18, so. Okay. Does it matter? No, no I think I should look at it every three months. Right. But what we want to do is we want to we want to make a change right now as a requirement that this daily activity be. So can you? That this daily activity be expanded upon. 
written in under her job description okay. in her duties. So I will amend the motion that we will add to our health agent's job description a health agent report that will not only include some type of itinerary of her schedule, but also will include commentary, sufficient commentary on the, on the agenda items before the board. You're adding that into the job description? Yes. Okay. Well, I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. At this point, it's 8 o'clock. I think um, Sheila is on overtime. So um, at this point, I think we need to table livestock fees. So I'm going to consider it tabled. And then the livestock complaint, I think, is important as our last item to take a look at. I think you did a great job, Sheila. I know that you already had to utilize it. Because um, we have chickens roaming around the streets of Pembroke. You table it until the, um, October 16th? To the next meeting, yes. So I tabled uh, plastic bags. I'm tabling the livestock fee. Um, and the livestock fee, I want a discussion and a vote. I think we need to really address this. It just keeps getting pushed back and back. Um, the livestock complaint was utilized this week um, over on Old Orchard. Is that right? Yes. Um, chickens not roosters but chickens um roaming around the property um did we send a letter no we didn't i, I was going to send lisa out but lisa was out thursday and friday yeah and then i uh i forgot to tell her today she was out most of the day she she got in late and she um she went straight to inspections mm -hmm. she was at um bridges so uh that one slipped through the cracks. Mm -hmm. All right, because if there was a complaint made, I think we need to get her out I there. I do think I want to make a change to that. I don't remember what it was. That form. Mm -hmm. I may change it. Because actually, practically, you know, using it in a practical manner. Um, it is a little busy. Not yeah, it doesn't look like you got much room to fill in anything. Yeah, so I'm probably going to play with it more so probably the uh, formatting because, you know, this is all nice and pretty, but there's a lot of dead space at the top. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to have more room for... A lot more room for the description. Yes. Are you opposed to going to a second page? I would. Well, if I go to a, well, if I go to a second page, it's going to be on, be on mm -hmm. both sides, both sides. But I'm not opposed. I just uh, I think that the the incident, the description needs a lot more room. I would think. Yeah. I mean, the one I filled out said you know various. You know they they free, they free range. I mean, there's, no, there's no pen to keep them on their own property. Yeah, okay, so let's get Lisa out there, um, and the complaint needs to be issued with the landowner, um, and if he doesn't, they, if they do not comply, they'll have to come in front of the Board of Health. Um, you want to wait till I revise the form to, to do anything with it? No, because the complaint has been made, I think we no, need to... No, no, I, I, know, I know that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think first run on this, I'd like to see um, see if you can play with it and make it a little bit different um, or, or more space. Yeah. Um, I'm not opposed to um, two pages, um, 
but one page, I think, you know, I just think you need more. You need more space. You have a cell phone, maybe, on the yep. phone, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Cell or mobile, which one do you think? Um, I think cell is more recognizable than mobile. The random of color, nature of the complaint, the incident date, the time and the location, the description, other witnesses. Charlie the Cow. Um, complaint is signed under penalties of perjury. I understand that I may be required to appear in court. Are the court. witnesses, if applicable, in parentheses? Just throw it up. And do they have to appear in court? Yeah, you know, I, I look, you know, I looked at it from the uh, mm -hmm. the dog complaint, as you can see. Oh, okay. like if you have a dog. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you can take out the reminder about the dog. Yeah, well, uh, if you want a dog all livestock, I think what I will add is that it has a valid license. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, because all animals need to be licensed. The complaint date and the complaint and signature. So we're making people come in and sign this. I think if they are complaining, they need to own it and have their name on it. Would you, would you be, would you email the form to someone if somebody called and wanted to make a complaint? Or they have to yeah, I can save it as a PDF and send it to them. Well, I think for right now, this is a good, um, first draft of it. I know you've utilized it. I know you've used it. Um, if you could play with it for a little bit. Um, and then we'll, I'd like to um, put that back on, the agenda. back on the agenda, please. And I think more form on the office you saw the investigating agent that action taken, that action's taken might need a little more room as well. Mm -hmm. Where is actions taken? The very bottom. On the bottom off the shoe zone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to add there to, uh, to, to, you know, um, which is the call. Mm -hmm. Well, form of communication. But I think people should be required Initial to sign contact. this. Yeah. All right, so keep working on that. We'll put that on there. Um, at this point in time, um, is there any further discussion? Do you want to talk anymore? I said no. No. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. Okay, a reminder, our next Board of Health meeting is tentatively scheduled for October 16, 2017. Um, if there's nothing further to discuss, uh, I would like to make a motion to adjourn at 8.09. PM. Do I hear a second? second. All in favor? Oh. Aye. Oh.